So in my last video, I used this to test the copper levels of my pool. It, it was a little hard to read, and I'm also going to try today, I'm going to compare, we're going to do a test and just check the copper in here with this Lamat copper test. This is some droplets uh, that we're going to try, and we're going to do this, see if we can read one better than the other, which this is what you would be using if you're using this pure and blue or some kind of a copper-based uh, algae side for your pool as your uh, main sanitizer. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do a quick test and see if we can see which one of these is better. And right here you can see it's just uh, some drops. This one has a little card here so that we can uh, identify and get out of the shadows, identify what it is. So I'm going to see if I can determine a little more accuracy with this one than this one. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to try this one first. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and take the little strip and you just drop it under the water and swirl it once and let it set in there for about five seconds. And take it out, do one or two little splashes of it. And then you can check your levels. It does state to check your pH and alkalinity first. Those do look on the very good side. And it states to check your copper next. And let's see if we can determine See, it's kind of hard for me to tell which one it is. Let me turn this over. Maybe if I turn it over, maybe I had it the wrong way. Okay, now maybe I could tell a little better. That actually looks like that might be on the kind of the low side now. Put it up against the white, see. It looks a little darker when you do that. Okay, so when you put this over this, you could see it get darker. So I think since you could see it get darker from under, from underneath uh, on the package, it actually gets gets darker. So that would mean this is lighter, right? Or I would think. See this one? It looks to be right in right in here. It's just kind of hard to tell, at least for me. You let me know if you have trouble because it's hard for me to tell. So we're going to try the drop ones and see if we can identify any easier. Now here are the instructions. So if you do have this, I'll show you exactly what it says. So you'll know if you're thinking about buying it, how this works or have questions here. Uh, step one, you fill the tube right here to 10 milliliters, which is all the way to the top of water with a sample. So let's do that. Looks pretty close to 10, 10 milliliters. And then it says add five drops of copper A. Now it looks like you might place this in here to let it hold. There we go, while we do this. So copper A is this one. Trying to get the cap off. And you add five drops. One, two, three, four, five. After step two, it says cap and invert. So here's the cap that came with it. Set so screws on there or presses down, I guess. Take that out and invert to mix it. You can see it as it just mixes like that. Put that back there. The next step is remove cap and add five drops of copper B, which is this one. Inter interestingly enough, this one actually has this on it. And I'm having to take this off like a uh, seal. And the other one did not. 
and I bought this from Country Leisure today. That makes me believe this is probably a return or something. I'd have to look and see, but you would think this one would have the seal on it, and it didn't. So I don't know. I might have got a, a used copy here or something. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to add five drops of this to this one. We got to take the cap off. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you're gonna put the cap on. And one more time, we're just gonna invert to mix. It says insert tube and wait three minutes. So let me set a timer for three minutes. Timer is up. Now what it says is to just place this on this piece like this with the cap off and look down and whoa, check that out. You can see the blueness right there. You really can't see it from the side. It don't look blue. But once you look down, I didn't think it was going to look blue at all. And it is. It is. So that, that's pretty cool. You got to look down to see it. So, we're just going to see if we can compare, and I'm going to look and see if I can tell what it's at. Without spilling it. So I have it here, and here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to go back to the pool, though. Is this, you can see much, I can tell a lot better than I can on that other strip, because with this right here, and if you could see if I can read where you can see down in here, got the camera falling over. Okay, so with this looking right down in here, you can actually tell a pretty good difference. Uh, it's because it, you could tell it's brighter than 0.15, no doubt. Uh, brighter than 0.2 I would say brighter than 0.3 while wow, right in the Sun it's starting to look right just about 0.5 it's definitely not to 10 you know it might be 0.6 But that has got a much better color scale than looking at that other. I will say that. That's that's my opinion on this. So now if you have this, it doesn't. I don't. Want, I didn't pour it in the pool. I don't know. If, but it does say rinse it real well after using, or you will stain. You don't want to stain this glass and have it start having a blue stain on it, and then mess up your results. So uh, I don't know if you should rinse it in the pool water. Not, that's what I'm doing. And then. Uh, We'll store it up till next use. So, after testing both of these, this is the best one. Hands down, no doubt, I'll tell you, the best one. Uh, because I could see the colors uh, much better. And once you turn that upside down and look right down in it, you can see the colors. The last time, it was really hard, and it's hard to tell on those strips, in my opinion, or it is. Uh, really, it's so close, it's just hard to tell. And that you can see it is definitely brighter than this one definitely brighter than this one So you can say it's at least this it's here. It's here Then you do get up to some to where it's real close and in that spot you might have to Use your judgment just a little bit if you can't tell exactly but when I had it over the water it looked Right at 0 0.5 0 0.7 it looked like right around 0 0.6 somewhere in there uh, So uh, this is not the week we add anything it is next week and uh, so next Friday I'll be testing and adding more. I just wanted to do a test uh, because I wasn't sure if my reading last week how accurate it was with that strip. Now there will be a link below in the description to both of these if you want to give them a try from Amazon. This one is just around 20 or just a little over $20. The other one was closer to 8 to 10 uh, so it is less expensive. 
uh, but I think this one here is the better one. I got this at the local pool store. It was $24.99 at Country Leisure. I looked it up and it was a few dollars cheaper by online at Amazon. So if you want it, that would be the way to go. As always, thank you for watching. My name is John and this is the Easy Clear Pool Channel. Everybody, just keep on swimming.